Dreams can make you lie. Dreams can make you lie. Autumn, seriously, what are you still doing in bed? You need to get up, okay? You... You look like you've seen a ghost. Is... Is something wrong? Are you not feeling well? I'm fine, Mom. It's just a nightmare. I'm fine. Oh, um, I'm sorry, honey. D do you want to talk about it? No, Mom. I said I'm fine. It's fine. It's just a dream. Oh, well, in that case, you better get your butt out of bed. Oh, but mom, why? Uh... Because you have school. That's why. Now get up. But mom, it's Friday. Yeah, school happens on Fridays. That's just kind of how it works. But it's Halloween. Uh... Yes, I'm aware of that, Autumn. But that does not exempt you from getting to school. Now get out of bed. Now. Fine. I'll be downstairs in a few minutes. Uh... Well, it's not pajamas, but at least it's comfortable. Alright, I better get to breakfast before mom starts freaking out again. Hey mom. Well, I'm glad to see you finally came to your senses and decided to get up and get dressed. Ugh, Mom. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should just go back upstairs and back to bed. And that sounds like the type of attitude someone who wanted to walk to school would give their mother. Ugh, seriously, Mom? Well, maybe you should hurry up and eat if you want me to drive you. Okay, I'll hurry. So, Autumn, are you excited for school? Ugh. Is that even a question? Of course not. Okay, let me rephrase. Are you excited for your short day of school? <laughs> yeah, I guess it'll be nice to have some extra time to spend with friends and, you know, with Halloween and all. I still think it's weird that the- Uh, Autumn? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I just think it's weird that the teachers are giving us the afternoon. Well, I can tell by all your faces that today is Halloween and you'd rather not be here. Now, because of this wonderful holiday, I have chosen an old legend for us to read today. Great. Just great. But it's Halloween. Please don't give us any homework. O-M-G. Summer, do you think it's the one we were talking about before class? <gasps> Maybe. What do you think, Autumn? Uh, okay, okay. Quiet down. Now, if everyone could please open their textbooks to page 367. Sky, are you listening? Sorry, what's the question? <laughs> <sighs> open your book. Uh, oh. This particular story is about a Clydesdale and its rider. So it's not even interesting homework. Uh, no offense, but that's not really... How do I put this? Halloweeny. That'll work. <sighs> you guys, that's not even a... Whatever. Scary would work. Autumn, are you okay? Uh, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. If everyone is done voicing their complaints, please read the story independently and turn in a paper on your perspective of this story. 
you have until the end of class. All right. A long time ago, there was a Clydesdale, but this was no ordinary horse. This horse had a special bond with its rider, a type of bond that only comes once in a lifetime, a type of bond that could never be broken until one day. It was on fire. Someone call 911. Well, the good news is that the fire is out, but we could not find your horse, unfortunately. Ever since that terrible day, the Clyde still has been searching for its rider and will never stop until he finds her. And will never stop, never stop, and will never stop, never stop, he finds her. And will never stop, never stop, he finds her. Autumn! Autumn! Seriously, class ended like five minutes ago. Are you coming or not? Uh, oh, um, sorry. C coming where exactly? Uh, seriously, Autumn? How could you forget? You, Summer, and I, we were going to hang out this afternoon. And look at Halloween decorations in town and go to haunted houses and stuff because we got off school early. And because, you know, it's Halloween. Oh, right. Sorry, I've... I just... I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm... Okay, you... But if you're coming, you better hurry up and get in your costume because we're leaving in five. This is a good idea. <sighs> Summer, it's fine. Plus, this is kind of what going to haunted houses is all about. I guess if you're too scared, you could always just go home. Or, you know, we could just come back when it's actually dark out. This is how all horror movies start. But as long as you don't get me killed. Candy, uh, Summer, come on, let's just go. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. My gosh, I can't believe I just got scared of the mirror. See, Summer, it really isn't all that bad. S Summer? Summer. Can't eat. Guys? Guys, where, where are you? Where? Where am I? Candy? S Summer? Guys, where are you? Okay, okay. Fine, fine. You got me. I'm scared. Can you come out now? You got me. I admit to it. You got me. I hope it's you anyway. Guys? Guys, seriously. Seriously, girls. Candy? Summer? Is that either of you? It's... you. Who are you? What... What are you? I've been looking for you. Calling for you. You... No. No. Hor horses... Horses can't talk. And who says I am talking? For you... You are my rider. Which is why you... And only you can hear me. I am officially going crazy. You are not crazy, Autumn. For I truly am your horse. And I've been looking for you for a very, very long time. H how, do you, how do you know my name? And that's not even possible. I don't own a horse and I've never even ridden one. Are you saying you are not familiar with the name Obsidian? Uh, obsidian? Wait. That... That was the name of... Of... Of my... Grandmother's horse. Before... Bef 
with fire.